scan your eyes that your energy of the vacuum divided by the volume is And uh, obviously, we can rewrite this as follows. Uh, so this is CK divided by 2 pi cube and uh, H bar C. And the, 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 the modulus of the vector K can be written explicitly in this way. Kx squared plus k1 squared plus k times k. Okay. And, uh, and, well, okay. And this is clearly divergent. Okay. Is it clear that it's divergent? Yeah, yes. Yes. Uh, Well, I can make it a little bit more explicit. Maybe you can introduce it. Okay. Because uh, it, it helps me for what I have to do uh, later. So I, I can use this K path. Sorry, K parallel, K parallel. But the definition is KX squared plus KY squared under the square root. Just a definition. A sort of cylindrical coding. Uh, and uh, if you want, I can also produce uh, um, an angle if you want, uh, that is by definition half tangent of KY divided by KX. But this is something, this is simply to say that I am considering. Sort of cylindrical coordinates, okay? Uh, with this, somehow Kx and Ky and Kz are the Cartesian coordinates, okay? And now I am rewriting uh, this uh, object in terms of uh, uh, cylindrical coordinates. One coordinate is K sub index parallel, the other coordinate is the angle, okay? and the third coordinate remains intact, okay? So sort of cylindrical coordinates. Rep I repeat, this is simply for useful for what I will do next. Okay. Uh, if I do so, we mm, have here I get k parallel square plus k z square. So the other one, the, the, other one, the advantage is that uh, instead of having three variables, I have two variables. Uh, obviously, there is also the angle, but the angle is not appearing explicitly, uh, but it appears when I change the variable here in the measure. And uh, here I get the k parallel times k parallel. And then there is also the angle, d, d theta, that must be integrated from zero to, to pi, because uh, the cylinder. And uh, it gives simply um, a factor of pi. Then we have uh, obviously this object here, that is a pi over t. And, uh, and uh, the integral, uh, obviously, the, there is also the integral with respect to kz. Okay, now the integral with respect to k parallel goes from zero to plus infinity. And instead, the integral with respect to kz goes from minus infinity to plus infinity. Okay. Do you agree? Obviously, in principle, I can also use, if I use spherical coordinates, it's much, much easier. Uh, <laughs> but I am doing in cylindrical coordinates because 
in the Casimir problem, you will have an example string with a similar thing. Yeah. Um, but this, this is, uh, in any case, it's correct. In any case, okay. Um, and so I get uh, one over four by square, and then uh, I write this fashion. Yes, plus infinity, this way parallel, this way parallel, and then I write from minus infinity to plus infinity to. Left square root of to the power of square plus to the power of square. Okay. Now, obviously, this object, uh, well, is it now clear that it's divergent? Yes, I think it's clear. Huh? Uh, this is divergent. And uh, however, it, it, it does not depend on the volume that you are choosing because somehow. Uh, you are, this is the energy density. No? Uh, now, the idea is the following. Let us concentrate in a specific region of the space where there is this energy density. So now I consider a, 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 a region of the space, of the, uh, of the empty space, where there is this uh, um, vacuum energy. And the region I, that I consider is, a, uh, is something like this. It's a parallel region. So maybe something like this. So I have, this is not a cube, but two sides are equal, this one, but this is the paradigm of this moment. Okay. I am doing this because uh, then I will consider two parallel plates, one here and another here. Okay. Two parallel plates separated with the distance A. But now this is an empty space, and we are considering the, um, the vacuum energy of the electromagnetic field inside this empty region. And we don't have uh, um, plates, okay? Uh, and uh, inside of this specific volume, and so now I repeat, there is no more a, a, a cubic configuration because our volume is L squared times small a. Okay. And in general, small a is not equal to capital L. Uh, but in any case, I can use this expression as the uh, energy density. Question? Sorry, yes, 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 Sorry, 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 sorry. Yes, 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 you are, you are right. Yes, yes, sorry, sorry. Uh, yeah, this is the angle with respect to this plane uh, X and Y, okay? Um, KX, KY. Um, okay, and uh, okay, and so I can simply say that the, uh, the, the energy of the vacuum inside this region is simply this object times this. Uh, so I put L square here and make here. And the, the rest is exactly the same, okay? Only a simple change of variable. Well, actually, I will do a change of variable uh, that uh, is similar to what I will do 
later, but uh, I do this change of variable here. And, and the change of variable that I decide to do is the following. I say that uh, our kz is equal to, instead of writing uh, two pi divided by a, I write pi divided by a times n. But uh, at this level, it's simply a change of variable. Moreover, at this level, this n is a real number. Kz is a real number. Also, n here is a real number, okay? And I simply doing a change of value. Actually, I will do the same when there will be the parallel plates, but in that case, due to the fact that there will be the parallel plates and assuming that the parallel plates are neutral and metallic, uh, this will impose vanishing boundary conditions for the electromagnetic field, also for the uh, let's say for the virtual photons associated to this uh, vacuum. Uh, and this condition, this, and we will get exactly this formula, but in that case, n will be uh, an integer. Okay. But at this level is uh, a real number. Actually, the only difference uh, of, uh, from having uh, empty and having these two parallel plates inside is the fact that uh, the boundary condition will change. And in particular, instead of having n real, you will have n uh, integer, okay? Uh, but here is real, okay? Here still is real. And so I simply do the change of variable. Uh, maybe I can do here, I can continue here. So, uh, and so I have L squared A, divided for pi squared, we said at zero plus infinity, with k parallel, k parallel, and here um, I change variable, so uh, I have pi divided by a, um, for sure, d in integral from minus infinity to plus infinity, dn, because n is a real number here, uh, square root of, k parallel squared plus um, pi divided by a squared times n squared, okay? Okay. And now you see that this a goes away with this one and also this uh, square, the only pi goes away with this one. And so um, if I continue, Let me check if it's correct. I think so, but I want to be sure. Just a moment. I want to be sure. Uh, sorry, I forgot something. What about the two pi? Uh, the two pi was there. I four, four, four.
Така, слава се го. А... Ей, да. Right, okay, if you want to uh, the result. Uh, the only thing that we can do is the following. Uh, well, take into account that the plus infinity, you can write as the interval from zero to plus infinity with the power. So take into account this. <laughs> This is right. Now, this is what you have uh, in the absence of uh, some question. Yes, 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 yes. So, Yes. Thanks. Um, Well, if you want, you can also do another change of variable. Um, that is the following one. Similar to what we did, maybe we can do, I don't know, this Greek Z, that by the definition is pi. Uh, this time, uh, no, again, here, because it's simply a change of variable, I can choose what I want. I have pi divided by A, because I choose it. It's somehow it seems more natural to put uh, because okay, I what was it? Um, K parallel is pi divided by A of this Greek Z. Okay. A change of y. Simply doing a change of y. Uh, and uh, I do it, which bar C F square divided by pi. Now zero plus infinity. Um e, okay, there is for sure pi divided by a uh, one time, two times. Um and then, uh, yes, you have uh, Z, 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 and you integrate out from zero to plus infinity, Dn. If I do the change of variable, then I have pi divided by A, here, <laughs> here, and here. And so I can get pi divided by A here, the square root of uh, Z square plus n square. Okay. Really? Because instead of k parallel, I wrote pi divided by a. And so I get pi square divided by a square. And then uh, there is a common factor. 
pi squared over a squared. I can put outside the square root, <laughs> and that's why pi is always valid by okay? And so our energy can be written as h bar c l squared divided by, well, now I have pi by cube divided by a cube, and then I have two pi here. And then the integral from zero to plus infinity has been z, 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 z integral from zero to plus infinity, the n square root of z squared plus n squared. Okay. Now what? Well, okay, now this is this one. Uh, this is the expression. This should be the expression. Yes. Okay. Now, what yes, this is correct. Yes, it's correct. It seems correct. Okay. Okay. This is the expression. Uh, still divergent, obviously. Um, uh, 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 now I consider the fact that we have parallel plates, we have real parallel plates, metallic parallel plates here and here. We suppose that they are very large. Uh, with the distance p and uh, these parallel plates, um, the area is simply theta l squared. These parallel plates, okay. And so the volume inside is again l theta l squared times small k. So the, the main idea of the cancel is the fact is the, the same of uh, the, you don't remember the, if you have a bottle, uh, an empty bottle of, uh, of uh, water and, and a plastic, you can remove the, 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 the gas inside and the, 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 you will see that the bottle will shrink. No? Because, because you are removing the air that is inside but the, the air outside is still there. And so there is the pressure of the air that is in, outside that is higher than the, with respect to the remaining air that is in, inside. So now here you have some, the idea is similar. So um, here there are the electromagnetic waves that are virtual of the photons, of the photons that are somehow created and destroyed. Um, of the vacuum that just start making pressure from outside, but there are also photons inside. However, the photons inside must satisfy the um, vanishing boundary conditions, both here and here. And somehow we think this implies that the, say, the density, the number density of uh, electromagnetic waves that are inside are less than the electromagnetic waves that are outside. And so the, the, the net effect is sort of, sort of a, a negative pressure, if you want. Okay. Or maybe positive from outside. Negative is if you are inside, okay. Um, this is the idea. And so the, in practice, the idea of Casimir is simply to say, okay, if now I calculate instead the E of, of the vacuum time, say, that is the energy that is, uh, of the electromagnetic wave that is inside here in the same volume, but having real parallel plates, I have to substitute this integral with the summation. And then the pressure, well, the pressure will be the difference between the two. And magically, the difference is finite. So you have two infinite quantities, but their difference is finite. After some, okay, we will see. 
But this is the main uh, idea, okay? And so in practice, you have the same expression, but instead of using the, 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 this is exactly the same because this is in, in this direction or in this direction and you don't have uh, vanishing conditions to be added here, but you have instead in this direction, this is that. This is the Z axis of the momentum. Z of K, KZ, the axis of KX, KZ. Okay. Um, okay. So here, so this and this integral must be subsidiary with some ratio. However, okay, but, but this is here, there is a Trick, so no, no, but not a, not a trick, a, a, um, a caveat. Uh, that is the following. Remember that at the beginning we have uh, minus infinity, and then if I have minus infinity, there is a four. Remember? Okay. Uh, now, if I move from the continuum to the discrete, <laughs> the problem is that. Uh, mm, Okay, I have uh, plus three, minus three, plus four, minus four, but I have only one zero. So somehow it's better to start from this expression, it goes from minus three to plus three, but somehow um, doing the following. First, I calculate this object with n equal to zero. That gives obviously z, uh, because I did this root. Plus, uh, what remains that uh, is uh, actually not okay. uh, the summation from n that was minus infinity to plus infinity, but with n different from zero. Um, square root of z squared plus z squared. So, and obviously, but here I have to do four. Okay. Do you agree? Okay. Here n equal. I am substituting this with the summation. But any first I calculate n equal zero, and so I get simply z. And then all the others I do like this one. Now uh, what I do, well, what I can do is the following: instead of summing from uh, minus infinity to plus infinity, I can simply sum from uh, one plus infinity, but simply inserting a factor two here. This is going to be uh, Now, if I, okay. Now, if moreover, this four can for sure can be written as two times two, this two can be put here and removes this one. But obviously, I have two instead of four. Okay. And at least at this point, you can also simply uh, do something similar to, to the continuum case. And I can put zero here, but also the factor two that starts on the four and means. Uh, so this is the expression of the um, energy of the vacuum of the electromagnetic field inside a virtual volume, uh, but without uh, any, 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 any physical object at the borders so, of this volume. Instead, this is the electromagnetic at zero point energy electromagnetic field, where when you are assuming that uh, there are parallel plates. And the crucial uh, point is that uh, they must be electron, not metallic. Because if you are if you have a metal, uh, the electromagnetic, the electric field must be zero. 
at the border. So this is valid for a, for a um, metal plates. Metal metal plates. Okay. Then, um, well, then one simply do the difference. Moreover, okay. Mm, well, I can also write so this is the energy down. I can divide by the, the, the area and square. And so this is the sort of energy per area. Okay. And um, this object is clearly a difference and so but uh, there are common factors particular thing if uh, c is five sorry this was five three and then there is the big difference. I can write, uh, yes. Uh, the integral, what? <laughs> yeah, I can write, uh, well, I write first, so let me speak. Well, maybe I can simply, well, maybe I can introduce this object, this capital A to the function of N that is by definition the integral from zero to plus infinity of C Z Z and the square root of Z square plus N square. It is nothing else that the object that appears there. Okay. Well, right there. The object that appears here what this integral here. It's the capital A. And similarly here. And so if you do so. The, the, this difference can be written as, moreover, notice that if n is zero, uh, you get exactly that object, uh, z but the one half, essentially. And so you can write in this way, one half, a saturated to zero, plus the sum it goes from n to the then that goes from one infinity of um, a of n minus the integral from zero to plus infinity with respect to the variable, in this case, the continued variable n of the same function a of n. Okay. Yeah, this object. Okay, now this object is divergent. This one is divergent. Now, however, you can uh, say, okay, just to do the calculations, let us put uh, an upper second of a lambda, a cutoff here, something. Uh, such a way that this object is fine. Uh, so, this is not a problem. Uh, <clears throat> However, also if this object is not finite, 
if you consider only these two terms and some, this is divergent, and also this object is divergent. However, the difference is finite. And moreover, at that level, you can also put this lambda that goes to infinity. But you will find that the result is independent of the lambda. So you have to fix finite lambda here. You can calculate the difference. This is infinity. This is divergent. This is divergent. The difference is finite. Moreover, the difference does not depend on lambda. Because, 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 uh, this difference can be proved be equal to, and this is the so-called euler mascheroni formula. For, for, for any function capital A or B, this difference this object minus this one. Uh, this so now the difference between the integral and the and the, and the series um, can be proved to be um, well. Say the, the, the fourth that there is an infinite number of terms which are the following. The first one are the following. One, one over six times u factorial, the derivative of capital A with respect to one calculated to zero, plus one divided by 30 times <clears throat> four factorial, the third derivative of capital A with respect to one, calcul calculated to zero minus one divided by 32 times six factorial, the fifth derivative of capital A with respect to one, calculated to zero, plus, etc., etc., etc. And uh, the other terms correspond to higher odd derivatives of uh, capital A. However, this is the general formula, uh, and I have not written, the, okay, there is also a specific formula for, for each of the coefficients. But uh, in, uh, in this context, uh, if we take this object, the specific of this specific object, and we apply this to object, we will find that this is zero. This is equal to, but this is this object here is equal to minus two. This object here is zero, and all the others are zero. All the other derivatives are zero. So, for this specific function, not for this specific function, consequently, for this specific function, uh, applying the euler mascheroni formula, this object is simply this one. And if you substitute <coughs> at the end, so we find the end, you can find that this object is exactly the one that I wrote uh, last time. The, um, well, maybe I have not written pi, pi square. H bar C divided by 720 A and this is uh, this is the pressure if you want the pressure because it is n is um is a pressure 
No, no, it's not operation. It's not operation. Because child is divided by no, it's not operation. But uh, from from this you can uh, write uh, the if I now do the 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 because the pressure will be m divided by by uh, volume. Uh, so I have to do the derivative of this object with respect to small a to get the force. Uh, and so if I do it, I find this quadratic force. It is actually a force by per, per area, force per area. And uh, in, with this, by definition, this is the color sign divided to small a. And you get. Uh, This is however force per dimensionally. This force is uh, it's not rule of force, it is a Newton divided by squares. And so actually it's, it's a pressure. Okay. Okay. Uh, so it's called Kazim, of course, but it's the pressure. But in any case, so, so it's a force per unit uh, of um, uh, per square meters. So it means that is uh, uh, actually pressure. And uh, and as I said, this uh, force was. Uh, Measure by several groups. Well, historically, Roberto Nofrio uh, wrote to me that uh, uh, this was proposed in 1948 by Casimir. Some years later, some friends of Casimir in the same lab uh, tried to measure it, but uh, the measures were not come. So they were, they, the, the results were not uh, sufficiently accurate to say that we have found it, okay? Then after many, many years, uh, there were other experiments in a configuration that are not, that were not uh, parallel plates. And uh, the, the, the first, let's say, uh, uh, accurate measurement of this force with parallel plate was done here in, uh, Province of Padova, in Legnago, actually, uh, in uh, 2000 and uh, 